plenty of expansion to go with vassals. Vassal play is just so rewarding. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, guys. If you enjoy vassal play, what sort of vassal play do you like to do? And uh, what sort of idea groups do you generally take with it? I am pretty keen on autonomy change, so we're just going to go with that. Looks like we got a unique one for tier 5. Years of Separatism. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we also get this one. So we get an extra 3 mana? Really? I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't think I want to attack those guys there either. No fun there. Let these guys uh, head on in over here, I guess. Right. We have the war goal. <laughs> but uh, meanwhile, Austria is just going to be sieging them down over here. It's a shame that Lithuania got off that fort there. I wonder if they got wiped. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? There's a fort on Naxos? And it's projecting a zone of control? This game is broken. This game is actually... I cannot put into words how much I truly, truly hate, like, the way that Fort Zone of Control mechanics work in this game. Like, they make me see red. I, I actually see red from Fort Zone of Control mechanics in this game. <laughs> and then I got blockaded over here trying to come across the straight. This game. This freaking game, man. And uh, these guys are just going to keep running back and forth. And now I'm actually blockaded. I can't get over there to get those rebels because reasons okay the game is trolling me i am being trolled by the game this is fine though austria looks like they lost a battle or two over here oh, they got a lot of men though venice has no manpower which is uh obviously a good thing for us so these guys can just like march around do whatever they want but since i'm the player i have to abide by different sets of rules that does not let me do what I need to do here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get across that straight. All right, let's have Moldavia head down there then. You guys are magically allowed to cross there. All right, there's a fort zone of control over here. Where'd those rebels teleport to? Did they get killed? Where'd you go? Oof. How about no? My poor uh, prosperity over here, man. Yeah, that's some good defensiveness. That's what I'm talking about, Austria. Or uh, Venice. That's their entire army. They have their entire army sitting here on Krakow. Just being generally insufferable. Now, I wish I knew what their return province was, because I'm was i gunning for them. Meanwhile, they're taking all that attrition. 1% of those men are dying every month, which is good for us. Means they're most likely not able to reinforce them. And uh, we will come down. I will clap, clap, clap them butt cheeks. They are fleeing one province over. Uh, at least half of them are. So there you go. So that 15 stack here is the the rest of their navy. Or their army, rather. I don't know where they're fleeing off to, but we're going to chase them down. Oh, here they are. They're heading on to Venice proper, actually. They hired some mercs over here. They won the battle. <laughs> That's so funny. What is this? Hungary randomly ended mill access, dude. Oh. This game. This game. So these guys are... Hmm. Bosnia. Well, obviously we're going to force religion on them. That's not even an option. You have to enforce religion on any OPMs that you go to war with. Like, if you're at war with somebody in the HRE, you have to enforce religion on them. Especially, excuse me, especially if you're Orthodox. Very important. We do need to peace out Genoa. Yeah, definitely. Um, You know, I'd like to get a little something-something from them, but it doesn't look like we get a whole lot. Though it looks like we have most of the war participation. Yeah, not bad. That frees up quite a few of the ships, but... Um, yeah, I, I, ugh, they have their entire... No, actually, yep, yeah, that's their entire navy. All 27 of their ships. Aye, aye, aye. They won the Siege of Corfu, which is good. But yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get anything over here. Um, 15 prestige or 60 ducats. I'll take the prestige. It's nice. Here we go. Obviously, this will all go to Byzantium. 
So just so you guys know, this is the same. So you can see here, I'm clicking this. It cost me zero Dipple and one AE, right? It's the exact same if I were to come in here and click the return core button. See, it's actually more AE to return them. How funny is that? <laughs> Don't ask me why. Do not ask me why, I have no idea. And I suppose I could just take these, uh, well, Naxos I can't take. But like, I suppose we could just take these islands down here. Oh wait, we can take Naxos, cool. Well, that's great. And then war reps. Cool. That's uh, that's actually like perfect. Holy crap. That's great. Now we got all these islands down here that we can um, we can deal with. Let's make sure we are getting these guys. We need to integrate these guys very soon as well. How long till I can click this button? Two years. I think we can sit at peace for a little bit. At least a little bit, right? Pick up a new rival here. Let's go with uh, Hungry. Are they allied? They're not allied. It's good. Let Hungry know that they suck and that we hate them. Get our PP up a little bit. Always good to have good good uh, PP size there, you know? Konigsberg Rebels. It is what it is. They'll get handled. No big deal as well. Now, what is this? Convert that province. Good. It's being converted now. You'll love to see it happen. Now, I can also put you guys on local missionary strength because that was a misclick that I put it on the other one at the end of the last episode. My guy is dead. But that's kind of okay. He's 48, but he's got better mana. This guy is kind of bad. But whatever. Go ahead and boost that stab up. Get it up to plus one so we can start working. Our... What? Did Rebels literally spawn as I was doing that? That's weird. Either way, that's fine. So Byzantium will handle their own Rebels, which is nice. I like that. We need to get these guys' relationship up. And... Um... I need to integrate them sooner rather than later. Let's go ahead and influence them. It's always worth influencing your subjects. But yeah, that's good. These uh these little island provinces over here are gonna be really useful. Maybe Corfu I could even track, you know, you can bait them into going on to the fort and then you stack wipe them. But uh, the, having some more coastline is gonna be really useful because we're finally gonna be able to get a navy because we'll actually have some sailors coming in. We currently gain two a month, which is overpowered. And uh yeah, here we go. Cost fabricate claims and make ha fabricate claims for our subjects. But yeah, look at that. So now if we were to attack these guys, they are guaranteed by Ottomans. Really? Oh, they won't join them though. Well, heck man. <laughs> What's their army look like? 4K? I guess we just uh, annex them. I wasn't going to do that, but... There you go. Well, that was easy. We can full annex them, probably. It's going to be a little painful for uh, us on the AE front, but they are orthodox, so maybe it won't be as bad as I'm thinking. And then we'll just loot the crap out of the provinces. There's no reason not to, right? It's just more money for us, right? Uh, grant them privileges? Yes. Look at this. Patriarch Authority going up, up, up. And it does give us missionary strength, so the more we have, the better. Not bad at all, though. So they're allied to Herzegovina. I might be able to force convert them. Oh, they're already orthodox, so I'll just take their money then. That's easy peasy. Oh, yeah, look, they're on the Fort in Pshemishil. Pshemishil. I don't know how to pronounce that. I tried. Looks like I have my uh, leader here. No, that's just a general, so we're good. All right, very good. See, I said I was going to wait, and then I declared a war like right before I clicked the button. Because I'm scatterbrained, and that's that's like what I do when I'm playing EU4. But yeah, it's nice AE. Or less AE. Nice AE. It's all nice, in my opinion. Uh, go ahead with you. There we go. Um, Peasants in Plock. That's actually fine. We got our boy right there. So, yeah. Don't want to lose a stab. Of course not. Go ahead and fight those guys. We have manpower coming in. That is fine with me. Very good. We've got like another... Mm, maybe one more. That national manpower is going to be so big. But um, hopefully... Yeah, I'm going to hold off and wait until we get this 20% AE before we peace out this war. So let's go ahead and... Um, get these guys looted up. I mean, I am American after all. Obligatory joke about America and looting. Alright, let's go ahead... Have you guys give me all that. 
Sounds good. That's beautiful. We're floating our economy off of the, the war economy. The best way to, to make money is to just take it from, <laughs> from everybody else. Get a couple more galleys built up here. Now, the reason why you build galleys is because we're playing in the Mediterranean Sea. And so if you hover over to this, it says, is an inland sea. Galleys will be more effective doing 100% more damage to non-galleys. So galleys, they do one-to-one -one damage. But uh, if you hit like a light ship with a galley, it does double damage to it. Really powerful. All right, unconditional surrender. So we're going to get call for pizza here. So maybe we will not be able to do this. Oh, no, we're fine. Hey, we're totally fine. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the most of what Byzantium is going to get. So let's see here. I also have some other missions, so we're going to take a look at that. Um, yeah, I took a couple of these. So these guys are not going to get those claims. That's fine. If I do this, they will get more claims over here. But generally around that time is when Byzantium starts to get a little uh, rowdy. But these guys are happy because I'm giving them a ton of land. So... Mm, I don't know. Hard to say. They're converting stuff over here, so that's really good. I like to see that. This province is getting converted. Let's turn you off. Turn you off. So, let's first of all click this button. Get a little bit more crown land. Let us attack these guys. They will call in Denmark Riga. Riga, huh? Might be worth uh, annexing them. The logo... So, we will go for Marienburg, whenever my diplomat is back. And now I'll call them in. That way, Onhalt doesn't join. Just one less person to worry about in the war, right? And then we'll just occupy them ourselves. I'll have Lithuania come on up here and handle Riga. Dude, Vassal Swarm is so fun. They literally just, you just tell them, you just, you just declare war, and then your subjects handle everything for you. You just speed five it, man. It's so chill. It's so chill. I love it. Also, has anybody played the Calamity Mon? Because this this part of this song right here sounds like the voices, sounds like the siren for the Leviathan, uh, the Leviathan siren. I think they changed her name in recent patches, but I always called her the siren. Let's get the cav out of there. Split the infantry like in a third, like that. There we go. I really do like guns, drums, and steel three. It's grown on me. It's grown on me quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and build a few more of those. The workshops are definitely just always going to be worth it. Our money is just going to keep on going up, which is great. Looks like Brandenburg is bugged out. At least I think they are. Rebel, rebel, rebel. That's fine. They're handled. And we have more galleys. So we're finally going to have like 10 galleys, which is a, a respectful amount in my opinion. Let's see, where are we converting over here? Let's get you guys on missionary and turn you guys off missionary strength. And we're still waiting on, um, what's it called? The thing. Don't you know the thing? Um, colonialism to spawn. All right, so Glogo over here is going to get force converted. Give us their trade power and all their money. Nope, you will give me all your money as well. I do not uh, negotiate. Just kidding. They'll give me all but like one province. Let's go ahead and give it to... Now, we'll take it for ourselves because I can core it. Now, this is Lithuanian, so I'll go ahead and give this one to Lithuania. The, the culture is Lithuanian, that is. Uh, Denmark is going to have to get pieced out separately. Looks like Brandenburg is bugged. You hate to see it. I'm going to go ahead and reload the save and uh, see if that fixes the AI there. All right, we reloaded. Let's see. They should start... Hey, there you go. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you got to do. You just got to... Restart the game, and there the AI magically goes. Hey, right! I'm supposed to do stuff in this game, and then they just start moving. So these guys are uh, whooping over here. Is a um, oof, decent prestige there. Yes, we um, that's woods. This fort is woods. So that's a, it's actually forest. Should just be the same, right? It's a minus one. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Let's make sure we got our better general on you. Shock early on is really important. Kill off as many of their armies as possible. Oh, they reinforced actually. Oopsies. Didn't mean to do that. Don't mind me. Just being a dingus. But uh, professionalism going up via events is always nice. We will take those three for myself. And honestly, I could totally release like an Estonia. 
That's a, that's an idea. Probably not though. Denmark is just gonna probably get separate pieced. Let's see here. That's a bummer though, because that means these guys are loyal. Oh, they're actually very loyal. They love Denmark. Which is weird, because nobody loves Denmark. Am I right, boys? <laughs> the joke. The joke. All right, let's go ahead, get you, and then go with, like, manpower is fine. I love my Danish boys. I love you, boys. Don't worry. No homo. I got, um... Oh, my one, one of my longtime supporters, uh, Cobalt. Shout out you, Cobalt. You're a legend. He is a uh, Norwegian, so it is his like life goal, life duty to just dunk on the Danes every day. Uh, where are those rebels at? Oh, no, bro! I can't do anything about them. I don't have any transports. That is tragic. I'm gonna have to build up enough transports to get over there and kill them. Five? I don't know if that's enough, honestly. Let's go ahead and do that there. And build up a couple more. All right, seven is good. There you go, kill them all. That's a Norwegian stat getting killed in Hungary, by the way. All right, so Riga is on medium enthusiasm. I'm tempted to annex them. Because I do not have... I cannot make it a core, apparently. But what if I do that? Really? Ugh. Okay. Either way, that is fine. We will go ahead and force religion, transfer trade, all their money. That is fine. That's nice because the transfer... The more trade power we have here, the more we propagate upstream and we collect more up in our home node. Trade is a weird thing, but that's how it works. We have high income. I don't think I really care about it. Until we, like, try to build, like, manufacturers. That's a generic mission. Okay. So, yeah, piecing out Denmark is going to be the next uh, goal here. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I think it can be done. These guys have no disloyalty issues. That is crazy to me, man. Too scared to engage enemies. They're so scary. Big scary scary bears so as long as they don't enforce their demands we should be okay yeah we've got like over a year oh we've got like four years we're fine now i will click this i will not click this because we're gonna wait and we're gonna take miltech always stay ahead of time on miltech if you can diplo you want to stay ahead if you can but like 20 percent trade efficiency that's pretty nuts i have no complaints about that spilled some spy network on you guys and well, it's also Scutage Danzig, because we want to integrate them. And I believe on Tech 10, we'll be able to form the Commonwealth, right? Yes. Yep, that's it. Easy enough. All right, let's get an admin guy here. Sure. Anything that can bring down our inflation is going to be good with me. Uh, Statute of... Pete... Petrikov? Petrikov? Um, tech cost 10%, but we get a stab or mercantilism. Ugh, I hate that. I hate that a lot, actually. But, I mean, three mercantilism and a stab is pretty nice. Since we're still ahead on admin, I'm going to go ahead and click this. Now, the reason why you do this is because if you're going to get one, it's going it, to... Basically, I'm getting... I'm spending 150 admin... But this would go up by 50 more, so I'm basically getting... I'm spending 150 admin, but I'm gaining 200. At least in terms of stability. So there you go. So you can see here, this is 200. So I gain essentially 200 admin, but it's actually a stab, which is even better because stability is really strong. Stab 3 is really solid because it gives you some really good modifiers, especially to uh, unrest and uh, conversion strength, missionary strength. So that's fine, I guess. You know, I'm not keen on it, but whatever. It's 180 admin per turn because it's 60 uh, is 10% of the base, which is 600. If you didn't know, Sweden is on medium enthusiasm. You don't say. Oh, boys, our patriarch authority is, is going up. And I think we're getting closer to where we can actually start consecrating some of our metropolitans. Yeah, is this Naklo province? This one just doesn't have enough dev, yeah? Need more dev. We'll be able to do that in no time. 
We've won the Siege of Colding. Have you guys get Carpet Siege down over here. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. It's fine. Luckily, we were able to flee. You love to see it. Let's go ahead and scorch some provinces here. No way they can't come up here. You cannot sit with us. You suck, Denmark. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Continue converting. Yes. This is fine. The state does not have the edict, so let's go ahead and do that. Turn this one off. All right. Denmark is on medium, so I can probably piece them out. Yep. Very good. Well, I think I'm going to wait and actually get something from them. I don't think they're going to win that siege anytime soon, so that is fine. All right. Our navies are grouped up over here. Let's get those guys over here. And let's go ahead and go with our best general here. So we got seven transports. That is fine. And so we will have those guys land the seven. Seven. Let's go ahead and separate piece them for war reps and money. Lots of money for us. Almost 100 ducats, which is great. And uh, they will now leave these guys hanging, who I can promptly piece out by full annexing them for, like, no AE and all their money. Now, the reason I gave this to them is because that is Lithuanian. It's easier for them to just core it up. I'll core that up myself because I get to inherit them for free. If you don't know, you can actually give them some land. Um, as long as they are less than 58. So if they have... I can give them whatever that is. Uh, eight more cities. Eight more provinces. And I could still in integrate them for entirely free. It's really solid. Now, this province here is uh, Saxon. Right, yeah. Got some rebels popping. Those guys are handled. Very good. Go ahead. So if you um, control right click, it me you it will tell the AI like the 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 compute the game that you want to use your boat. So if you right control right click, see even if it's just one province over, it's a nice little tip that tri trip tip there is what I'm trying to say. Goodness gracious, English is a hard language. See Pro Polish is a hard language, but dang man, English, sheesh. I grew up speaking it, and I still suck at it. All right. We're going to have rebels over here. Nothing we can do about that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. Now, let's take a look here. As far as... um, Is there anything that we really would like to go for? We could flip to France and go revolutionary. <laughs> One faith. No. <laughs> Form Lippe. Or we could... We could... Uh, actually, that would be a fun one. We... Um, is uh, Lippe... Where Where are they? They're like a OPM that can be released over here, right? Where are they at? I actually don't know where they are. They are... Uh, what is it? I'm pretty sure they're like... No, that's Anza Brook. Paderborn. That's uh, Kallenberg. Where's Lipe? I don't know, actually. Leave a comment if you guys know. I want to say they're like over here. This is Tyrol. I know... Yeah, I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll look it up. But maybe we could do some shenanigans where we basically occupy all this and then we uh, release them and then we give them all the provinces and then we annex them and then we release them and then we, we get the stiff upper lip achievement just because that's funny. Because this is a quote-unquote hard achievement, right? <laughs> um, and then let's see here. This one, we, this one will be easy. I can do the this is fine one. Basically, all I need to do is get myself into a coalition, which is easy. Steamroll the coalition. And then, like, tank our stability. Easy enough. I can do that. We'll be able to take the tech. Take at mill tech. Stay heading, staying ahead uh, on time, ahead of time. Protecting our innovativeness, which is good. Hungary has announced me as their rival. Oh, no. Let's make sure we are embargoing our rivals, making sure we are keeping our PP nice and big. You want to keep your PP over 50 at all times. Um, 
Might need... Do I have... Can I Scornful Insult? I don't know if it's been long enough. No, it's not been long enough. Bohemia, huh? Uh, Unification War. I'll join, but I'm not going to help. And I don't want my subjects to help either. Passive. Who you got? Oh, they're going to lose. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely going to lose. Whatever. So let's say, actually, instead of passive, let's say defensive. They will not go into enemy territory. Uh, I can spend some admin mana. That is fine. Now, I think I had said something before about um, popping our golden era. It would actually be good for us to do it right now because we can t get these techs as well as uh, get ahead of time on these guys. So let's see here. Um... It would be good of us for us to get this, get that. So let's see here. We can do a little bit of this, right? That will give us. Yeah, I'll get us quite a bit of development there. And these guys are still pretty loyal, right? Uh, let's see here. Moria will give us two more. One more. What is this? No more. So let's go ahead and click that one as well. It pisses them off, but they still love me. Like, look, they're at 32. And so just like that, we're like really close to actually getting... Getting up there. So let's see here. Can I do this? No. This one I can for an extra development. Very good. And then I can develop this like three times. Let's put you guys on dev cost. No, not defensiveness. Dev cost. What about my burgers? Burgers are giving us the development cost. Now, how long is this for? 25 years. So let's click that button because we'll be able to develop the uh, institution. Um, eh, probably not here anymore, actually, but it's fine. Oh, right. We got free development there. Hey, let's go. So then next month we can pop our golden era, which will allow us to take these technolog technologies for cheaper and then also get all of our idea groups for very cheap. So that'll be solid. Popping your golden era early can be really useful for that. See, there you go. And that's an extra 20% production efficiency, which is going to help our economy. It's going to help us roll. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. And we get everybody converted. More. Oh my gosh. This is just all around a great day. It is a good day, friends. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter. They're all linked in the description. You can check out a couple of the videos linked on the screen right now. If you haven't already, those you'll probably enjoy those. And you can also support me on Patreon if you want early access to every single Tubert video that I post. You can check that out linked in the description below. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.